The movie begins with a young boy named Ray Abelli, who has just finished his first year of college at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. During the first year, he scored a prestigious medical internship that he wanted to pursue during the summer. However, he is being forced to let go of this opportunity and go back home. He's coming back to take care of his mother, Susan. It turns out that Susan has suffered a severe leg injury, which has put her on bed rest. Since the woman can't move around on her own anymore, Ray has to step up and care for his mother. When Ray gets to his hometown, he meets his father, Tom, who is there to pick him up. Tom drops Ray home and then leaves for a long work trip because he's a traveling salesman. Ray's relationship with his dad appears to be strained because Tom is an overly controlling father. In the next scene, Ray comes home and starts caring for his mother. He brings her food, gives her medicines, carries her to the bathroom, and even helps her shower. One night, Susan begins to cry while she's in bed with her broken leg because she feels lonely and disappointed. It turns out that Susan and Tom don't have a good marital relationship because Tom regularly cheats on her with intimate workers whenever he's away from home. Susan also feels like she hasn't achieved anything in life, but Ray reassures her and brings her tissues to wipe her tears away. As the days pass, Ray feels more and more obligated to take care of his mother. One day, while helping her shower, he glimpses her naked body and suddenly feels a strong sexual attraction towards her. Later that night, Ray was rubbing some healing medicine on his mother's body. When he massages her upper thigh, the mother and son share a moment of intimacy. After this, Ray feels extremely guilty for having such feelings towards his own mother. The next day, he rubs his skin raw to punish himself. When nothing else seems to put his mind at peace, Ray decides to pleasure himself in the bathroom. However, the family's dog keeps barking outside the door, which distracts Ray, and he's unable to finish the act. This increases his sexual frustration even more. One day, Ray takes his dog for a walk in the neighborhood. During his walk, he meets a young girl named Tommy. Tommy is in high school, but she seems to be interested in Ray. However, Ray feels very nervous and awkward while talking to her, so he quickly ends the conversation and goes back home. When he gets home, he notices that his mother is feeling upset again. At this point, Ray feels upset as well because he wants to focus on his education but is being forced to be at home to care for his mother. He's also worried that he must wait for his father to come back home so he can ask for money to pay his tuition fee. Later that night, Susan calls Ray to massage her leg because she's feeling some pain in her injury again. However, when he looks at his mother's leg, his mind is immediately flooded with all kinds of sexual thoughts and feelings. After that, he tries to pleasure himself in the washroom once again, but the dog comes back to interrupt him. Then Ray jumps in the shower and feels even more frustrated with himself. Later in the night, some of Ray's high school friends show up outside his window and ask him to go out with them. He decides to go, so all the friends go to the forest together. While sitting in the forest, Ray starts talking about how he feels awkward and shy whenever he talks to a girl. His friends start giving him tips on how to attract girls, but they soon start making fun of him for not being able to get a girlfriend. This leads to a heated argument between Ray and one of the boys, and the boy punches Ray in the face. After this, Ray realizes that his old friends are too immature and feels alienated from them. A few days later, we see Ray spending more time with Tommy. He feels more comfortable being with her now, so he tries to kiss her. But when Ray wants to take things to the next level, Tony refuses to get intimate with him. He tries to force her into it, but Tony feels disrespected and hurt, so she leaves. When Ray comes home, he feels isolated and turns to his mother for support. He tells her about his sexual encounter with Tony, but Susan starts yelling at him for forcing the young girl and making her uncomfortable. It turns out that Tony went home and told her father about what Ray did to her, so her father called Susan and complained about Ray's behavior. After yelling at Ray, Susan grabs his arm and shows him how to touch a woman properly. This brings back his incestuous feelings towards his mother. If that wasn't enough, then he openly stares at her body in the shower, which increases their physical intimacy even more. Now things are starting to escalate between Ray and his mother because they are having more intimate encounters every day. One day, Aunt Helen comes to the house and offers to be Susan's caretaker from now on. This means Ray can leave his mother behind and attend his medical internship. He takes the offer and excitedly prepares to leave the next morning. During the night, Ray feels restless and is unable to fall asleep. He goes to his mother's room to check on her, and it turns out that she's awake as well. He lies down next to her, and the two of them start talking about their feelings. 
They share a plate of snacks and also have a few drinks together. After some time, Susan asks Ray to massage her leg once again. While he's massaging her, his hands reach her upper thigh, and he feels attracted to his mother once again. But as soon as he tries to stop, Susan grabs his hand and tells him to keep going because that's what she wants as well. Ray and Susan end up spending the night together. The next morning, Aunt Helen is cooking breakfast when Ray wakes up and sneaks out of Susan's bedroom through the window. He doesn't want her to know that he slept there, so he pretends like he went for a morning jog. However, Helen still gets suspicious about his odd behavior. When Ray comes back to his room, he feels frustrated and angry because he blames himself for last night. He knows that it shouldn't have happened, and he also realizes that he missed his bus in the morning. After some time, Ray feels annoyed by Aunt Helen and starts taking out all of his anger and frustration on her. He yells at her, so she gets upset and decides to pack her things and leave. Even though Ray tries to run after her to apologize, she doesn't listen and leaves anyway. This makes Ray feel even more frustrated because now he can't leave for his medical internship and has to stay here for the rest of the summer. The next day, Ray takes Susan to the hospital for her checkup. There he sees her flirting with the doctor, but doesn't say anything to her. When they come back home, he starts taking care of her again by bringing her food and taking her to the shower. Later that evening, Tommy comes to Ray's house to apologize for her behavior earlier. She confesses that she still likes him, so he forgives her and invites her inside. Tommy and Ray start getting intimate with each other in his bedroom, but are suddenly interrupted by Susan, who walks in and sees them kissing. Susan gets angry and starts yelling at them because she claims that they can't do such things in her house. Ray tries to stop her, but Susan gets aggressive and starts hitting Ray and Tony. During this chaos, Tommy's eye gets injured, so she leaves the house immediately. Even after Tommy leaves, Ray and Susan keep yelling at each other. Eventually, the loud argument turns into groping and kissing on his bed. Meanwhile, Tony comes back to the house with her father, who wants to confront Ray about his behavior. However, Susan starts flirting with Tony's father and distracts him from punishing Ray. While the parents are talking, Tommy goes back to Ray's room and tells him that she still wants to be with him. But Ray dismisses her by saying that he'll meet her later. Ray is still frustrated with everything that's happening in his life, so he tries to commit suicide by hanging himself on the bathroom door. But before he can go through with this plan, Susan walks in and saves his life. The two of them start yelling once again, and Ray complains that he can't achieve anything in his life. Then he tries to initiate sexual contact with her once again. He starts kissing her passionately, but suddenly pulls back and tries to strangle her to death. Then he stops himself when he hears his friends calling him from the window. He goes out with them to the forest once again, and they all sit near the river. His friends start provoking him, so he decides to jump off a cliff. This makes his friends panic and start looking for Ray with their torch. When they call out his name, they get no response in return. This makes them think that Ray probably died, so they quickly run away. After some time, it turns out that Ray is unconscious and still lying on the floor. He wakes up early the next morning and walks up to the highway. When he sees a truck approaching, he catches a ride with the driver and leaves. The moral of the story is to focus on your ambitions and not let any momentary distractions keep you from pursuing your dreams. The relationship between Susan and Ray teaches us that it's not always necessary to give in to your desires because they can have dire consequences. And that's it for this movie recap. If you were Ray, would you give in to your desire to be intimate with your own mother? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, we're sure you'll like this one even more. Click now to watch.